Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on, it's not going to be Project 100, but it is a Make a Page Kit series, if you will. It's going to have five or six videos. I'm going to a crop on June 1st and I'm going to have 12 hours to make pages. Now, I want to make 20 page kits. <laughs> Am I going to be able to do 20 page kits? Probably not. But hey, we can have big dreams. And if I'm totally ready, you never know. I've seen myself do doing pages in 17 to 30 minutes. So, and it's a 12 hour day. Let's go. So the first one, I went and got this Sahara sand cardstock from Stampin' Up. And this is like a craft cardstock. And that's from Michaels. They're recollection brands. Then... I still have a lot of pages or page kits or remnants, if you will, that are still living in these plastic bags. So if you're following my other series, Clean With Me, um, the second one's going to come out probably early next week. And one of the things I want to do is to go through those bags because they're living on my floor right now and that's not acceptable <laughs> well they're on in a box overflowing you know what I mean there's just tons so if I can take 20 of those and make page kits then I'm ahead of the game right it's 20 less that I'll have to do later and it's not as if I'm going to take them all apart it's just that I need to do something with it so this is a lot of um, the Camp A Lot from Bow Bunny. And what's this one? Zurific. So we're going to, what I think I'm going to do is, and I do that a lot when I make pages on YouTube, right? I'll pick a, something like this, and then I'll try to do two pages with that one kit. So I'm going to keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get another one of those. And then I have the green too, right? So then I, when I open this up, if I feel like making two pages, I'll make two pages. So here we go. We'll put that in there. Let me show you what I have as far as like embellishments and papers. I don't have a lot of papers. So maybe I would need to add maybe a little bit more papers in order to make two pages. Unless one of them, I use something big like that, right? If I use something big like that, a little bit of pattern paper, we're going to make it work. So that's what I'm going to do. Can I remember to do that? <laughs> you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put use this for second page. There we go. If I had a highlighter, I would highlight that. I don't know if I have highlighters up here. I know I have some downstairs, but up here, I'm not so sure. This, I like that, Call of the Wild. I don't, oh, I do. And it's a nice bright pink too. And it's dry. It's okay. That's going to be enough. And then this is going right in the garbage. That's one thing I'm going to do also with, um, oh, there we go, gel highlighter. That won't be dry. There we go. Um, is take out a drawer and kind of go through, try the pens, see if they work. If they don't work, pop, go on. So, yeah, I have, I think I have enough for two pages. Then we have this. I love these. I love to cut them out and make like a little collage. Love those. So maybe one of the pages I can make like a camping page. And then the other one, I can make it a zoo page. There we go. Should I separate them right now? <laughs> I could separate them right now and then I'll have two pages ready to go. I'll do the green 
for the zoo. I'll do the brown for this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little clip. A little clip to keep those two pages together. Right? Two page kits like in the plastic bag. And then I'm going to put a little note uh, pattern paper for both. Let me take one of these out. Pattern paper for both pages. There we go. There we go. Maybe if I like clip it, then it won't get lost in the shuffle, you know? I just need a little, oh, I have some, oh, well, I'll just take, bring this. It's not a big deal. There we go. There we go. That's good. So that'll be two. Now we, we need like viewfinders and circles and all that. And I just cleaned my desk. So I'm like, eh, do I want to go in there and make a mess? But these have already, a lot of them have been cut out. A lot of them uh, even have like the foam. And, you know, they've had one chance to get on a page, they didn't make it. So let's see if we can fulfill their dreams of becoming on a page. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do here. I just don't want to make a mess. You know what? This, I am going to cut it in two because I really don't need blue for this. So I might need it for another page, right? And it's going to make it two so that it kind of takes some of the stuff away from here. This is all camping stuff. Oh, I guess it's going to go on this one. That's from our digital file collection. So we'll use that, hopefully. I need some two inch circles, aha, aha, in brown. There's two. And those will go well because they're darker. If I could find, actually, I could take this one light one here. Is that brown? Yep. Let's do the light one in case I want to do a light one. Oh, I see another brown mushroom. This one we'll put on. Oh, it's kind of a yellowish brown. That's fine. It's yellow with brown flecks, so we'll use that. Oh, use that. Oh, another one. Oh, and a little bear. Oh, it's just the, the romp. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, so here, should I pick two colors? Like there's green here. So we can probably do brown and green. So I'll put a green one here. Although I'm going to have to bring my other ones in and that's okay. That's okay. There's two. Because you know, it doesn't have all the colors in here. So it's just to... Try to use as many of those as I possibly can. Ooh, I'm going to put those on this side. Tags, green, or I think I'm going to call it good for this. To try to speed it up, you know, maybe I can use those when I'm just have, have a little bit more time. I mean, a time crunch because... I'm doing a live this afternoon and I have bagels to make. <laughs> so I'm waiting, they're rising. So as soon as I'm done this, I gotta go bake or cook. It. Well, like you gotta boil them first and then you gotta, what I should have done was put them in the oven with the light on and then they might've raised a little faster. Okay, do I want brown on this side? 
Yeah, let's do brown. We only have two green, and I don't think that green was... No, it's not really... It's the green for this side, but it's not the green for that side, so... And I can always cut those in half, so I'm not too, too worried. If I don't find another one, I'm okay with it. I wouldn't mind finding some film reels. And there you go. I'll take brown ones. I don't think I'll put some on the other one. Although, I wouldn't mind... There, maybe some tags for journaling. Now... Let's find some butterflies. I gotta replenish this with the butterflies. Cause I've used up, I think, pretty much all the the browns and so you know it's not a one-time thing and then you never touch it again, right? It needs TLC once in a while. What? That green's on this side. So we'll use that. I don't need to put a lot. Just a couple. Three, preferably. But, and you know what? I just decided. If it's in the colors, I'm just going to put it in because in nature, butterflies doesn't say, oh, I don't match. <laughs> I can't fly there. I don't match. <laughs> So we're going to get different colors of butterflies. There we go. On this side, we'll put green. Uh, we'll put orange. And then, what other color am I going to put? Maybe a blue one. That's pretty. Okay. I'm going to, I thought of maybe putting some arrows think it, that'd be fun. So this one I'll put with words. This one here I'll put, uh, oh well, it's going to separate them. I should have went the other way because I want these three. And then, okay, so I didn't mean to do this, but we ended up getting two page kits done. Next one I opened has a lot of scraps. So we'll go through them, see what we have here. I'm gonna put the embellishments together and the pattern paper and cardstock together. We'll see how much stuff we have in here. There's quite a bit, quite a few like leftover cardstock. Don't see a lot of pattern paper up to now. So, that might be an issue. I like to get pages, you know. I got stuff to make two pages, like backgrounds and stuff. But this one might only have enough stuff to do one. And that's okay. Because the pattern paper is not very much. That's okay. Okay. Rub on. I'm gonna put the digital files together because then I'll know do I need, you know, I could get more. What are those called? Doilies. <laughs> I could get more doilies instead of a two inch circle. Oh, there's tons of journaling stuff. I mean, there's scraps of paper. We can still make a page with that. We can still make a page. And if, if this has a sticker sheet, I could probably do a second one too and just use cardstock and, you know, stickers and embellishments. So we'll see. Okay, that little rub on we'll put in there see starting to have a little bit more pattern papers there not big pieces but i don't need big pieces i just need there's enough i think 
digital files in here for two, but I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to separate it. I'm saying I'm not going to separate it. And, and then I'm like, well, maybe I should. Maybe I should. I certainly put enough digital files. So well, sometimes that's what I do. You know, if I have lots of time, I'll be like, what colors are in this kit? And I'm going to put all those colors in digital files. And then that way, the next time I pull out this, I won't need to barely do anything. And it looks like that might be that kind of, you know, time. Now, at some point, I'll need to add more pattern papers because there's just not enough. But that's not bad. It's not bad at all. And I have all of these that I can maybe try to use. That's a 49 and Market collection. Which one? I have no idea. Okay, put that together and this together. Okay, there's no sticker sheet, but I think I have enough cardstock that I could do a second layout with this. So I brought in this so that I would have one first, second layout. You know what? I'm wondering, I, I'm gonna bring in a white. I'm gonna bring in a white. And then that way, if I wanna go really light and then just a few pa few patterns, digital files and cardstock, because cardstock will really show against that. I'm, I'm gonna leave that in there because I'm not bringing a lot of stuff. Let's say I do end up you know, being superwoman that day. Well, maybe I'll be able to get a whole bunch done. <laughs> so I'm putting a ton of cardstock because I don't have a lot of pattern papers. So maybe I can come up with something to do two of them. Now, do I have enough? I know I have this for one page, right? Let's see if I have, oh yeah, oh yeah. I have the two inch circles. I couldn't remember seeing a lot of circles or the one and a half inch, but we have, we have four. So I can, I can cut those and use them on one, more than one layout. How many butterflies do we have? We have three butterflies, so we could probably put some butterflies. We have a few arrows. So I think I'll be good with those arrows. We have three butterflies, so we have enough for one. We have a couple mushrooms. So let's bring that in. Maybe we can add... That green just doesn't go with it. Maybe we can put, you know, a few butterflies and then maybe a couple mushrooms. I think I want to go get my file of mushrooms because this is all one, one kind. I haven't put different kinds in here. So there's one. I don't think I want that one. Let's do, if I can find a small red, let's do that. And, oh, that's the same color. Not the same color, same size. I like to vary the sizes. If I can find some. If I can't, we'll just go with it, right? Maybe let's do like that dark red instead. Okay, let's, I guess I'm putting red with this, which is fine. Let's get another one. And one more. Okay, 
I'm going to go get my mushroom file. I decided it is, I'm going to make this two and just be happy with that. <laughs> just be happy with that because I figure, you know what? I have a lot of stuff to get done here and just be happy that you got this many done. Maybe towards the end, you know, then I can throw some in extra. But I'm like, oh, this this looks really good. I, I don't want to I don't want to forget that I wanted to do two with this. I'll do the same thing, attach it. So those two can go there. This one is kind of small. Maybe not. I think that'll look cute. Okay. Awesome. And then let's move that over. So we'll only do one more today. After this, I'll put the big one on here because I, this one, I won't have a lot of pattern papers, right? And I'll put the little one on here. I'll put the two big ones. I'll put this here as a reminder, but I'm gonna do this and it's gonna be the same note as the other one. Use pattern. I was gonna put PP, but I know myself, June 1st, I'll be like, what does PP mean? Pattern paper for both layouts just cleaned right here so I'm like I don't want to put anything down there <laughs> okay I'm gonna put this away again I'm gonna get a clip I'm going to clip that on I'll get two baggies and then we will do one more page kit for today the last one we're gonna to do today has tons of pattern paper so that is definitely one that we have a chance to do a couple of pages with this one page kit. It has October afternoon fly a kite, a ton of stickers, love that. So I'm gonna go get, hmm, I have this, I can use this for one page. So maybe two white cardstock and then a green, a dark green cardstock. And then we'll make one side more green, the other side more pinkish red. So I guess we're gonna be doing um, six today. <laughs> so I changed my mind. I did more like a teal, turquoise, well, turquoise deep, mint, because I wanna do this one here. So maybe mint and pink on this page. Right? I think that's so cute. And on this page, we'll do green and pink. Green and pink. There we go. I think that is going to be awesome. This one's not going to go. Uh, I could use those for this page. Let's put the green on that. See, garbage, we'll put that in the garbage. This one, I think I can put it over here because it has um, a lot of those colors. So I can put that over there. So we'll do the same, you know, disclaimer on it, like use, um, this one will be, oh, by the way, the last one I put, I added uh, and embellishments because the embellishments were gonna be shared by both. Okay, and same thing with this. The embellishments will be shared by both. So we'll put that same little disclaimer. So this one here has enough like viewfinders and all that stuff. And then you add this. We're gonna call that good. Now, for the other side, we need to bring this out. 
we need to bring this out. And you never know, you know, I could still have leftovers and still make pages with those extra pages, you know, that coordinates really well, that teal. Now let's find some more. Some more, some more, some more. Let me see. Okay. All right. Uh, hmm. I was sure I had. Oh, there we go. But then it's going to be dark and dark. So I almost need like the light, a light teal. Even lighter than this. Is there a second color? Unless I do see that one there doesn't look good. This one is okay. So maybe I could do that. And that instead, this one and this one. So I could do the dark teal and that one. I let's tr throw some pink. Oh, well, there's pink in there, so yeah, we could. Let's throw three different pinks, and then that way it's gonna tie it in even more, right? Okay. Now, what else did I want to do for that? Do I want to maybe do some frames? I think I'd like to use frames. You know what? I could bring in some more like pinkish stuff so that it brings it in even more. And then, since I have my mushroom file out, we can put this away, I think. Let's take out the mushroom file. So it's going to be like this and like this. And then let's, you know what? Oh, those two are really nice. Those two right there. There is yellow on that paper too. I'm wondering if I should do a yellow one or do a yellow one and a half inch circle. I think if I just do yellow embellishments, I'll be okay. So we got this as our background mushroom. Now we want one to go in the front. I'm going to do those three colors again, but then I'll match them up with a different mushroom. Ooh, about the same size. But I love the color. Should I do that pink? Should I do the same mushroom for all three? Do a different mushroom. I think I'll do that one for that one. Maybe for the pink, I'm just comparing the size here. Maybe I can do this one. that and then this one I gotta do that teal should I do I think I want to have two mushrooms that are the same maybe like this as far as shape not the colors but I think I want to do this one I don't find I use that one enough and I love it okay this needs to go back next time I'll know where it is okay well that's pretty good I was you know coming here today wanting to make five we ended up making six that much closer to our 20 <laughs> oh one thing I gotta do I'm gonna put use same embellies use same embellies 
one thing I think I'm going to throw in my container. I bring one container is I'm going to throw all of these. I have five, eight. I have eight of them. So I'm going to bring all of those. So then that's, you know, doesn't take up a lot of room. And then if I need just little embellishments, I'll have those. So that's it. We're going to end it here today. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.